And Falcon was really in the garage this whole time. Uh, I don't know if Falcon can hear me, but was he, because uh, I know at some point he fell asleep in that garage, but he was hiding out because he thought you were going to punish him for something that happened earlier in the day. Uh, did he hear anything? Did he hear you screaming out, Falcon, Falcon? Uh, he's, he's asking Falcon, did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. You did? You did? Why didn't you come out? Um, you guys said that um, we did this for the show. Man. No. You didn't um, come out? No. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, it is a little kid, but I actually saw that live. And I was like, uh, what did that kid just say? So <laughs> you're watching the body language there, Janine, uh, and you're hearing him. What do you think? Well, the first thing is the, the father takes this really deep breath. It's actually the only real deep, exasperated breath that we see him d take throughout the whole interviews, all the interviews he's done. Unfortunately, this is a breath that we often see when evidence is stacked up against a bad guy. My background, I'm a retired ATF federal law enforcement officer. I've trained the CIA, the FBI, how to tell people are lying, ATF. We see this in criminal prosecution and in interviews with criminals when this evidence is stacked up in front of them. It's like yeah. I'm busted. So that in and of itself was a big hot spot for me. But it's also sometimes, too, when you can't make heads or tails of, I know, you know, I've gone like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Well, why not but, just say to your son, well, what do you mean by that? Well, I would yeah. say to him, I'm a mother of a four-year-old. I'd say, Angus, what do you mean by that? You know, tell me more about that. You mm -hmm. don't just say, yeah, if it doesn't make sense to the father, he should be asking additional questions. I mean, this is a huge hot spot. For me, I think that there's definitely more going on with this family. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if they were involved with the actual, the parents were involved with the whole, you know, scam of it all. But maybe they wrote up a screenplay or a screen show and the kids overheard them talking about it or got a hold of some and notes. This, this is advice that you would give when you were with the when you would advise the ATF, right? So we are, the same my thing. Big my big thing is this. You notice what's called hot spots. We notice mm -hmm. tons of them. The mother, when she begins to speak, starts rubbing her leg nonstop. These are called manipulators. It's okay, I'll get through it. It's okay, I'll get through it. They increase in high moments of stress. Are they under stress? Absolutely. Okay. I would ask powerful questions here. I'd okay, say, hang on. There's another clip at the end because yeah. uh, Wolf Blitzer was doing the interview. I, do we have time to show the, the second part? Okay, so we're going to show the second part where Wolf confronts him and says, hey, you know, what do you mean by that? People have been calling and, and we noticed that the, the kid said this. Let's listen and we'll talk about it, Janine. Why he said, at least he, he said, we did this for the show in explaining why he didn't come out of the attic. Um, yeah, let me uh, in interrupt this real quick because I think I can see the direction you guys are hedging on this because earlier... Uh, you would ask the police officers the questions. Uh, the media out front, we weren't even going to do this interview. Um, and I'm kind of appalled after all of the um, feelings that I went through, up and down, that you guys are trying to suggest something else. Okay. Um Usually if someone gets that angry, there's something going on. Exactly. I want, with anger, I want the brows down. I am appalled about what you guys are saying. You know what I've been through here? I'm an emotional mess. We see no emotional activity on his face, which is indicative of someone being deceptive or holding something back. Again, I think they know more than they're revealing. And, and I here's my thing, Janine. It's like, you know, let's hope that it's all true, you know, because for the family and the kids, that would be terrible. But, you know, a couple hours after I thought my son might be in a balloon and possibly dead or falling, why would I be on national television with my kids and, and my entire family doing this? You wouldn't. This? And it you'd be embarrassed. You'd be embarrassed. You wouldn't be doing interview after interview till your kid gets sick. Yeah. Uh, this, to me, says there's more to the story here, and, and, it's, and it's devastating. I'm embarrassed for these parents. Yeah. As a mother, I think this is atrocious. Yeah. Again, as I said, Janine, I hope, I hope it's all true, you know, for the kid's sake at least, you know, because honesty is a big thing. You want, to, you want it when you're growing up. You should learn it. You know, um, I, I, one last thing. The father is doing what's called stalling techniques. Mm -hmm. We stall when we're trying to create an answer. This no. is a huge hot spot. Pausing when you shouldn't be pausing. Yeah. That's that's a big hot spot for deception. So. Janine Driver, Janine Driver, good stuff. Janine Driver is a body language institute and also as she said, she used to consult the ATF. Thank you so much.